Bugatti Veyron. With its 8 litre W16 engine with four turbochargers, which initially generated around 1,001 brake horsepower and an incredible 1,200 horsepower in later generations, giving it a 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds, the B Veyron definitely goes through the tyres. A set of tyres average lasts around 15 minutes at top speed, which the top speed is a fantastic 253.81 miles per hour. But at these speeds, you would also need to stop the Bugatti. Well, they also have that sort of, they've got the windbreak, the tail fin that comes up, so, from 249 miles per hour to a standstill, it can do it in just less than 10 seconds. Of course, out of 450 Veyrons that were originally made, there's only 50 left, which really is quite astounding, especially to say it costs around £3 million. They're not the cheapest. But what do you expect for the power? To have that type of power, you definitely need to have a price tag to it. What do I like about them? Well, they're fast. I like fast cars. And to be fair, you know, putting a stone chip on it would be some serious hard work. But if you've got the money to buy it, you got the money to fix it. The 2020 Ford Mustang, with its 5 litre V8 engine, putting out around 460 brake horsepower, giving it a top speed of 155 miles per hour, there's nothing to shout about really. The 0 to 60 is around 4.5 seconds. You know, that's nothing really to shake about onto a muscle car. As a lot of people say, muscle cars really only go in a straight line. But with this one, it was proven different. It can go around corners. Even though, if you do push it, it will bite you. The thing is, with the 5 litre V8, the price tag is quite nice. So the price tag of the manual ones at the minute are £43,685. And the automatic's coming in at a £45,685. It's a fair bit of chunk of change before you even add on any extras. So do bear that in mind before you go and buy one. But back in 2019, there were an estimated 72,489 of these sold, just in the US alone. Which, when you think about it, really is quite a few, but it makes you wonder what was sold around the world. For me, my love of these muscle cars came from the first time I saw one as I was walking alone, along down the street. They're in that burbling exhaust sound as it comes rolling by, turning my head and I realise it's a Mustang. From there on I had the toy and from that point on my love for these cars has continued. But again, it's one of them cars that now you've got to really think about what you want to put onto them. The Ferrari F50. What can we say with its 4.7 litre V12 engine at the time putting out 512 brake horsepower, which for the time it wasn't a bad power output, especially considering of the top speed at 194 miles per hour you know for 1995 that's nothing to shake your head at bearing in mind the 0 to 60 time was 3.8 seconds it would still give some of the modern day cars a run for its money back in the day there wasn't many cars that were giving out much more power but there may have been out there so Ferrari currently claim that 
they made only 349 F50s for the entire world. Which when you consider in today's standards, when you actually look at how many Ferrari are making, they are making a lot less numbers of certain models. Currently, if you're looking to buy one of these beautiful cars, depending on the mileage, the service history and the colour, you could be looking at a lovely price tag of £1.8 million, which is definitely not a chunk of change. I first saw one of these on the sports car calendars when I was younger, and I must say I fell in love with the Ferraris from there on. Growing up, I always wanted to see one, but because of the rarity of them, it was going to be very unlikely. But who knows? Someone could be driving by me one day, and I may get a glimpse of one. The Lamborghini Gallardo. Well, what can I say here? With its 5 litre V10 engine, it sounds amazing. With a 0-60 time of 3.2 seconds, what really can we say? For the time, for the power, it was astonishing. So the top speed of one of these is a great top speed to be fair. A bit faster than the F50 at 202 miles per hour. You know, what can I say for the Gallardo? It's one of them. In total, would you believe 14,022 Gallardo were made in 10 years of production. And even though not much changed over those years, they are still a very beautiful car to me. Well, for the price tags of one of these Gallardos, I think you can say you can comfortably pick one up for around 271,146 for the coupe. But with an average fuel mileage of between 16 and 17 miles per gallon, you better hope you've got a fuel tanker following you. So when I was 21, I got the chance to do a track day experience and I got six laps in one of these cars. And I tell you, when you put your foot down, you get sucked to that seat. But not only that, but listening to that V10 engine roar behind you as you are putting out that power and putting that pedal, pedal to the metal, what can we say? The raw power and feeling is amazing. GTR R35, well, with its V16 twin turbo engine, I mean, come on, putting out a total power of 485 brake horsepower, you know, I'm not being funny, it's not something to shake your head at, with a 0-60 time of 3.4 seconds, definitely get up and go, but surprisingly, with its top speed of 195 miles per hour, yeah, you can definitely squeeze more out of it, but what can we say? With Nissan having the platform where people saw potential to upgrade the cars, to make them faster means that they keep battering themselves to keep up with the trends. Before adding your extras though, do you be warned. The R35 can start from at least £83,865, brand new. But for what you get, it's not too bad a price, especially the 485 brake horsepower. But as we all know, where are these cars famous? Well, when Brian O'Connor first brought one back into the Fast and Furious series after having his R34s, what can we say? Anyone that loves the R34s loves the R35, especially for when you consider you take it onto a track, it knows where you are and it changes itself. They are not a car to shake your head at, but they are definitely pricey for what they are. But 
what can we say? If you like fast cars, you enjoy the power. Hi guys, thank you for watching the video. If you like the video and you want to comment, comment on down below. If you like the video, smash that thumbs up button. If there's any cars that you would like me to have a look at, then please leave a comment down below and I shall see if I can make another video and put them into it. Um, from me that is it, but I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next video. Peace out.